There we go. There it goes. Welcome back, everybody, to MGS Headline. Hi, Hero. It's 9 p.m., so let's get started with NGS Headline. I'm Hiro Arai, the official navigator of NGS, and I will be the MC for this program. Okay. I will be bringing you the latest info on NGS. Welcome to the first broadcast of 2024. I hope you all enjoy NGS this year, too. Thank you, Hiro. <laughs> Today marks the end of the Super Genesis Festival which started late last year. How was it? As we announced in our I'm mad that they have the new LTQ on here. the Super Genesis Festival is well received, <laughs> we would like to make it an annual half anniversary event. Oh, we're going to oh, get one each not. year. Hear your thoughts and opinions about it. Now, I can say it's not active right now. The program is to inform yeah. players about the current operation and upcoming updates of Sega's online RPG. PSO2 New Genesis, also mm. known as NGS. We will also share details about exciting campaigns, peripheral information, and discuss the present and future of NGS for our players. This is a pre recorded broadcast. If you would like to say it in Japanese, <laughs> you can check it out on the Japanese NGS YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's move on to the updates you've all been waiting for. Okay, new Throw updates! Yes. No updates! Uh, maybe we can finally trade. Now, for this I'm gonna throw people. Of I just want to trade. I would like to share you want to trade? I want to throw people. Huh. And February updates. We can throw trades at each other, how about that? Oh, with a video. oh sh sh new video. Is this gonna be the new seasonal? February update. Okay, so this starts after maintenance tomorrow. New story coming literally tomorrow. The last part of chapter six. It's starting to dawn on me that teaching isn't as easy as it looks. Uh, my name is Riku. We're instructor Ina's new trainees. This here is Ruka. Hello. And it's an honor to learn from instructor Ina too. We're all going to return soon for some scout training in a little while. It'll be a long trip. Hopefully we can all get on the same page before we head out. Hmm. I hope I come up with something by then. She feels like a bad teacher. Okay, Kavars is being updated. Yep. Ooh. And there's a reason. <laughs> oh, finally, dude. Finally. Yep. Oh, nice, huh? Yes. Dude, finally. So I don't need to spam for those little... Okay. We got new ancient... Okay, and they have the torches in there, too, so it's worth it to farm them again. We got Giga Jantix. <laughs> okay. So it's finally worth it to farm inside of there. You don't just need to have a bunch of, like, units exclusively built to, to play in there now. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. I'm happy about that. Look at that dread enemy. <laughs> okay, that's. See, remember how I said they were going to come out with a new 10 star? Mm hmm. For Blizzardium? Ooh, I'm so happy I've been saving up on my Blizzardium, dude. Okay, new armor. New armor. New 9 star armor. Tames trapping. Ooh, I wonder what you get. Okay, level cap is 85 after update, and we get the ranger and gunner updates immediately. Okay. You see that fear eraser? Own adjustment and new class skills. Huh. Nice. I don't know if it's just ranger, if it's ranger and gunner, well, if it's all Well, the one they just though. showed was hunter. And Hunter just got all of their double double P back. Oh my gosh. They updated Fear Eraser to start sooner. Okay, new creative yep. space. We already knew this was coming. Oh! Oh I can my make gosh. Rivers, finally. Yes. Yes, 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 Look yes. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's time, dude. Precision, 
Oh, look at that. Yep. They made it so much nicer, Rishi. Okay, we get Mining yep. Rig from AC. Yes, I will be grabbing that, even though I hate Mining Rig. <laughs> Understandable. Okay, new quality of life, so let's see what we got. Auto join part. Let's fucking go. So now it's worth it to do party recruiting. That's it. It'll automatically have people join your party now. You can see where the DPS is. Oh, look at that, Rishi. And now it remembers your previous. Thank God, dude. That was so annoying. Okay, and new Arcs ID backdrops. Okay. Let's see the new scratch. Eh. Yeah. Eh. I thought it's exactly. Gave him a padded chest. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it'll be cute on my boy, but, you know. Eh. Let's see the new cast parts. They're saying new cast parts. Let me see the new cast parts. Yeah, I w I'd like to try the, the dress one on Risha. Mm. Okay. That's a pretty cool looking. It's... Oh, man. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. This is a kind of disappointing scratch a little bit. Maybe there'll be really good accessories inside of it. Doesn't look like it, though. Yeah. Very mid. Okay, a backpack, earring, different Joker. shapes. Those will be worth a lot, those, those shapes. Those gloves, though. Those gloves, I like. New body paint. Eh. Mm. Portable holograms of the animals. Yes, yes, please. Okay, they're inside of there. I'll get those. That weapon camo? That's a weapon yep. camo? That is a ridiculous weapon camera, though. And I don't mean ridiculous and like, oh, that's awesome. Like, Outstretched it's ridiculous. legs sit. Oh, my God. And the vertical float? Yeah, I'll definitely get that. The, I'll get the vertical float idol. I don't know about the vertical float just in general, though. Okay, that's a scratch prize. EX. Different particle effects. Yeah. Pretty like standard. Glide, though. I'd like to have that one for my, uh, yeah. my old. Okay, here is the UQ. So there is a UQ for it. Okay, so they're remaking Dustal. They're making a version two, where it's probably a Maleficent, yeah. honestly, if I had to guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be a hell of a fight. Limited titles and tasks. Okay. We're getting more inside of the SG shop from remake. I'll take. And another one coming next week. Yeah. Okay, you got me. You got me. Mm-hmm. I I don't see anything about this one I want. I want this for my cute boy. I want this for my All cute that boy. I can understand. Sure. Okay, that's adorable. New Rappy innerwear? Underwear, there you yes. Go. There you I go. don't really like that hairstyle though, honestly. <laughs> That one's kind of cute. Okay. Boots are nice. The boots are nice, yeah. I like the little wrist thing. Little chocolate mouth pieces, yes. Okay, finally. Finally. Finally, I get to make my little fuckboy. Complete with goth eyeshadow. <laughs> Everything else is kind of mid. Holding up a board. Mm. I may get that emote just because. Idol to the beat. Oh, they got they we, remade the rhythm idol. Yeah, we. I mean, for people who don't have it, that'd probably be good. Yeah, it's kind of a mid idol though. I'm not impressed by this. Me either. I was just about to say that. I was like, I don't, I don't. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the. I'm not seeing the worth in that scratch yet. Yeah. Outside of those outfits. Which I can probably just buy off the market. What did you think? Let me go through the details with these slides. Okay. Starting with this. 
Morning, Julian. The final part of Chapter 6 of the main story will be available from January 31st. Okay, this is the last part of Chapter 6, which I don't disagree with. As a training instructor for new arcs. But as the days go by, she seems to still be struggling with her worries. At some point, the protagonist meets the rookie arcs Rikul and Ruka. From what they tell you about their training with Aina, it seems that she is having a hard time teaching others. And it seems that she will soon be taking her new recruits on a long-distance reconnaissance training exercise. Even more mid than the Seven Deadly Sins collab, and Julian wants <laughs> you to make sure that I do my dailies. After a long Boo. <laughs> Chapter 6 finally comes to uh. Be sure to check out where the story is going. Following Retum, all fields in Kavaris will be significantly updated. First, in the I'm really excited about this update, honestly. The level of this one right here? So this is coming in tomorrow, right? And even so tomorrow, I think so. there's going to be a lot of people to have Kavaris, it seems like. In addition, new stuff. That's probably why they're starting maintenance early today, which, by the way, everybody, maintenance is starting three hours earlier today. So make sure you do all of your dailies and weeklies as soon as possible. The Grand Torch Stand grants players who come within a certain range the heat coating effect for a set period of time. This effect provides immunity to low temperature damage and triggers a follow-up fire attribute effect for attacks. Okay. The smaller torch stand extends the duration of the heat coating for a certain amount of time when accessed by a player who already has a heat coating. Red X, I'm doing my dailies, dude. Come on. Utilizing both the well, actually, she's kind of just sitting here right now. Oh my god, I just... Come on. And challenge the formidable <laughs> enemies roaming the Rayord Gorge while maintaining the heat dude. coating effect as long as possible. Yep, update comes up tonight. To the Belugana Ruins combat mm. sector. Hello, bomb. In addition to an increase in the enemy levels, a new starless enemy will also appear. New starless? Rings have been added to Belugana Ruins that can be used while on a. Oh wait a second! You can get the ten star from the red blocks weapons now. So be sure to slide through Belugana. You get materials for them. Oh, you have to build it. But they also have the ability to be dropped too. Mm. A new series of 10-star rarity weapons, the Rayar series, hmm. and the first 9-star rarity armor, Ania armor, will also be available. The Rayar series has a potential which increases the power of photon arts and techniques in exchange for increased PP cost. Okay, I don't despise that. In exchange for materials, or may be dropped from enemies. What the weapon? Addition, I wonder what the, uh, the, the armor is going to be like. Me too. Ruins. Enemies other than bosses will also drop the 10 star rarity weapons and 9 star rarity armor. So make effective use of PSE bursts to destroy as many enemies as possible. Hmm. The level of Gigantic's enemies that appear in the Exploration Sectors section of Kavaris, with the exception of Rayord Gorge, will also be increased. Okay. And additional red item containers will be placed. Okay. I'm still not going over to ruins. I'll probably just be farming inside of Lost Central, honestly. So scour Kavaris for them. I hate I hate the runes, dude. Yeah, agreed. The Rayar series. That is that the only one that they added the new regions to? Item exchange. That's what it says. In addition, the Rayar series and the multi-weapon Rayar Mark I series will be added to the Ark's record badge exchange. Please note that the Kaisar series and Kaisar Mark I series will be removed from the item exchange. Kavars. Okay, that makes sense. Ark's record badge exchange in a future release in order to reorganize the item exchange menu. You know, to be fair, now I'm happy that I've been like farming up Ark's record badges. Time tasks and title <laughs> tasks will be added in conjunction with the Kavaris update. The achievement requirements for all of these are to defeat the enemies, so be aggressive in taking them out to earn rewards like the materials needed to exchange for the Rayar series. Is it just going to be Blizzardium? Because they're making it seem like it's Blizzardium. It's probably going to be more than that. Like, mm -hmm. that's part of it and then other things. Nine-star rarity armor and meat have been added as reward items. 
So capture the most tames within the time limit to get tons of gathering materials and other items for each region. Yeah, see, it sounds like it's a buildable weapon series. Yep, like the... The additional enemies that used to appear around dread enemies will no longer appear in the Kavaris and Alio exploration sectors. We want to place the focus on boss enemies to make it easier to fight them. Okay. So go challenge these formidable foes. In preparation for the intense battle in Kavaris, the player level cap will be raised to 85. Okay. In addition, <laughs> just everything's at 80 now. Yeah. Ugh. Motion speed. I don't. I don't mind going up to 85. Well, as additional. I don't either, but yeah, I'm all classes though. <laughs> for certain photon arts, new class skills, and significantly updated effects. I do kind of wish that they would have given us a new four-man with this update, with the level cap increasing, you know? Yeah. Broken World Rank 2. Time to lock and load. But they gave us a lot, so... Furthermore, new ranks will be added to the Urgent Quest's Mining Rig Defense, Kavaris. And I really hope some of the new class skills, by the way, do affect Launcher. Because I feel like Launcher consistently is ignored whenever there are Ranger updates. Can be achieved, you know? The urgent quests at the new ranks. And Launcher's a Ranger exclusive weapon. Like, even Assault assault Rifle can also be used by Gunner, right? Vera Suppression Op and Om's Vera Suppression Op will no longer occur as urgent quests. From here on out, when you want to play these quests, please accept them as trigger quests from the quest counter. Okay. In addition, players from any class can participate in the ARC's records for the field race, West Kvaris Dash, Stage 1. I think they've been pretty good about rotating in and out, like, all the UQs, honestly. Creative Space is getting a new theme. Kavaris. You can go to someone's space from their friends list or nearby character now, dude. Create a space. What? A unique atmosphere based around snowy mountains with amazing views. Didn't they say the Kavaris one was coming out the 14th? They they said it was coming out, yeah, but they this says that it's coming out literally like after maintenance. Because it's going to be active on the 31st. So literally on Wednesday, we're going to have a new theme. Oh, man. That, I yes. think that's that's probably why they're doing early mate today, is because they're doing all that stuff literally. The size of like tonight. Oh, I've got the points saved for it. Allow yeah, you lucky bitch. Gentle slopes. It cost forty thousand again. I still haven't bought the entire European set yet, dude. Able to visit the creative space of players. I'm just talking unlocking the Kavaris creative space. Forty thousand. Giving you yeah, I don't. I don't have. That's that how much cost for uh freaking Ratem. Mining rig pack. Uh, it's so expensive. In the dude. AC shop. Mm hmm Allowing you to assemble your own mining rig. I can make rivers. Oh my god. The build parts, which are divided into fourteen pieces. Yeah, they really did immediately show off the water, didn't they? To create the final yes, they did. Okay, well, after after maintenance, I'll be spending some time in your room to check it out. Visual guide during assembly. <laughs> be sure to. I'm probably not going to get to work on any of it until this coming weekend. You're not going to be on after maintenance. As a reward for. I'm going to be on, but I'm gonna, I'm going to be clearing all my alliance weeklies and such as many as I can get. Ah, uh, nah, just do creative space. Use the points you obtain no. to further. Build <laughs> I'm not doing that till I can actually sit down and really, really look at it and see what I want to do with it. Next, let me introduce the new the auto join function is huge yeah no that's that's big because you know how i always do party recruitment will automatically join together now it's automatically going to get them in there because the whole issue is before you had to have like a recruit a party thing and you had to be party searching in order to do it now it's actively like hey i want to auto join a party beginning of a pse burst <clears throat> You can access the settings from the party settings screen. Well, is that something you're going to want to have on all the time, or you don't want to... Especially if I'm just trying to level and I'm trying to get boosts, yeah. You can hide shortcuts That's pretty useful. ...and keep the auto-join party feature enabled at all times from the options settings. This makes it really easy to form parties. So, so it comes up the minute that it sees an, an auto-join party. It gives it to you if you have that on. In addition to the auto-join okay. party feature... Okay, I'm pausing it real quick just because I, I don't want to miss this. Reduced waiting time for quests in yellow and purple. 
which makes it easier for low iteration. That's cool. Nice. Uh, the GPS position can now be moved to three other different places, which is awesome. Portable holograms placed by other players can now be set, displayed by sector type. I don't know what that means. Uh, easy photo mode now has the ability to retain the camera previous angle, which is pretty nice, honestly. Save three more look types. So you can adjust eye size, eye horizontal position, and motion base type. I feel like you could do that before when you did look options, though, but okay. Uh, new Arcs ID backdrops with the Kavaris leaders. Um, yeah. Confirm for the, the confirmation screens for gold prim swords and gold prim armors is removed, okay? Gameplay tips appear on the screen for a certain time period after the prologue, and new players can now skip the prologue even with their very first qu characters. Okay, mm -hmm. this is some pretty good changes, honestly. Pretty good quality of life. Our new features will be added and improved. So even if they've never done the story before, they can be like, oh, I don't want to play the and prologue. The purple <laughs> idle time for quests will be reduced in accordance with the loading status of each participant's quest. I feel like it's still important people do it, though, personally. Yeah. Second, in the options settings, you can now select the DPS display position from three different options. If you find that the DPS display is difficult to read, try changing its position to make it easier to see. Similarly, in the option settings, you will now be able to customize the display settings of portable holograms placed by other players according to sector. Oh, you can adjust them! To enjoy portable holograms only in the city and not during combat, you can change the settings to hide in combat sectors or hide in combat exploration sectors. Oh. That way you can enjoy both battles and communication. Yeah, because people do put them down in the middle of battle areas. In addition, it would be nice not to have to see them. A new feature where it remembers the. Okay, well, I just went over all of these, so. In game, must free hide from as well as making it easier to affix preset skills to weapons and armor. Following an overall parameter review, we will strengthen all preset skills aside from a select few. As we make preset skills stronger, we'll also be reducing the power of potentials to make sure that the 9-star rarity Versmelt's weapon series doesn't end up being overpowered. Okay. However, for those of you with the preset skill Fix a Termina at level 1 or greater of Fix, don't worry, we'll also be making adjustments to keep it at the same strength as before. Okay. In addition, preset skills previously awarded only through item drops will now also be granted via Enhanced Preset Skills. Okay. So now you can get that just from regular enhance. And the new support item, add preset skills level one, is on the way. See, didn't I tell you that was gonna be a recycle? Can be used to add a didn't I tell you that was gonna be recycle? To a weapon yes. or armor with no preset skill affixed. There will also be new exchange items at item recycle. N rare drop rate one hour plus 100% and add preset skills level one. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be pretty valuable. You can trade NEX mm -hmm. cubes for these. Please note that there is a weekly limit to the number you can exchange for. I don't mind a weekly limit, honestly. NEX cubes, boost your item drop rates, and affix preset skills to your weapons and armor. That's pretty valuable. From January 31st, character creation data that can be used to recreate NGS's main characters will be available on the characters page of the PSO2 New Genesis official site. Okay. Please note that this character creation data can only be used with the Steam, MS Store, and Epic Games versions of the game. So it's only for PC players that can download it from the website, basically. We're releasing the revival SG Scratch ticket. And yet, NPC I don't ever want to be like an NPC. <laughs> Some people do. Red X, Red X made a really, really nice, um, what's her name? And more included in the uh, line. the singer there. I forget her name. Your favorite character. Yeah. Continuing. This was a kind of mid scratch, honestly. Street smart. Very. Featuring chic sci-fi streetwear and new cast parts. And the only thing I really saw of it that I wanted was those gloves. Yeah, yeah, those gloves look pretty cool. Honestly, I I always am a big fan of when they come out with like kind of like asexual outfit 
for both men and wear women, like androgynous stuff, especially for my cute boy. The limited time but quest. I gotta say, I feel like they've been dropping the ball. Like this scratch really feels disappointing, especially because remember last headliner didn't we get the elemental scratch and stuff? That looks so cool. Mm -hmm. You know? In the Marama yeah. Canyon of North Retum. I think I think next headliner they're going to be announcing the collaborations that we're going to get to because didn't they say in the last roadmap that there's going to be uh, collaborations coming out uh, between February and March? So probably very mm -hmm. next headliner they'll probably like actually probably at the end of this headliner they'll probably tease what it is and then we'll get an actual video of it next headliner or something. Obtain special scratch. No comment. <laughs> No comment. For new build parts? You're in luck. So those build parts from PSO2 are probably just going to be SG, which I'm happy for because I've already done, I did literally all of my Stellar Grace farming. So I have like 500 to spend on that and I'll just keep grabbing the daily from, you know, the daily and weeklies. I don't, I don't, the, the thing that I've always argued, argued about was that there should be no build part that should cost more than 10 sg i super duper agree with you especially the remake ones but i feel like they're trying to put i, I feel like they're really just trying to put like a dollar amount on star gems and trying to like keep it keep people from with your favorite i just it feels like a money scam it feels like they're just trying to like make star gems a lot more valuable because it's like every single star gem scratch costs 50 sg right just for one and then Every single item, for the most part, with the exception of a couple of items, like the more expensive items are like 80, the less expensive items are like 20 or 30, you know? Yep. And it's like, there's no reason why it couldn't be 10 and then all the way up to 50, basically, the, the price of one scratch. Like, I feel like that would make more sense, especially for remade items, but I also kind of get why they're doing it. They're doing it that way because specifically, they know people that play Creative Space are like this. Okay, let's see this video. I think this is going to be the patch after next week. Yeah, so this is the second half. So this is like three weeks from now, basically. February 14th. Okay, that's Valentine's Day. Okay, we're getting a new urgent quest of part two. Eight man. Yeah, so now God. it's now it's the eight man version of the four man quest, just like before with Solus. Better not hear people. Oh, it's too hard. Well, Deal especially now that the cap is 85. <laughs> like, like that's just up, ridiculous, buttercup. honestly. You know. You know what I just thought of? Since we have 10 stars now, ooh. Okay, we're getting a new mission pass. Hey, the vol, the vol background from base. Okay. I don't, I don't mind that glide, honestly. Oh. Here's your. VTubers? Yep. I hope we get new sound discs. Are those build pieces or sound discs? Those look like stickers. Hey, that's a login bonus. Ah, I, I love that fucking bag. Rishi, I don't care how you feel about it. I love that rat. I love that mag. Are we getting a Valentine's Day scratch? Oh no. That outfit's kind of mid. Yeah. That outfit just looks like a remake of one that's already in the game. <laughs> it is. Mm. It doesn't even look that high quality. No, it doesn't. Like, the most unique thing about it is the hair, and even the hair kind of looks just... I don't even know if that's 100% worth money. I'll have to see how the market plays out for that. I feel like market's not going to eat it up, because we already have... I feel like only the hair... I feel like only that past hair with the little bells and stuff is worth it. Yeah. I think all of those are top type 2 as well. Okay. I like the back... I, I still love the Arcs ID backgrounds. Okay, we're getting vital gauge designs. That's cute. Not that I'm going to use them if I get them, but... Yeah. I, I hope these are login bonuses. It they doesn't look the like login it. login bonuses earlier. Yeah, this looks like AC. Okay. Okay, that item's obviously gonna be worth money because Edge Lords. Yep. <laughs> see, I just see that as a remake of the base cane, candy cane, you know? It's it just is. smaller. I mean. And body pillows, okay. But look, they bounce. 
I don't know, dude. It's a little bit underwhelming. I know. But shout outs to VTubers, you guys. Let everybody know. Let everyone, let Sega know that Sharpie's your favorite VTuber and streamer. As always, so excited to see another collaboration with VTubers, bro. Okay, so look, there is another combat sector coming into Lost Central, but it's coming in in two weeks instead of like next week or or tomorrow. So the one tomorrow, the only one available is going to be Ruins, and then in two yeah. weeks we're getting in two look weeks that, we're getting though. it there. Yeah, that looks like Ruins, doesn't it? No, look at what it's fighting. That's going to be fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? What are those affixes? Did you see those? No, I didn't. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me rewind a little bit. Pause it when I race him. Okay, okay, okay. New rank. Watch this. I'm launching. Keep going, keep going. Crimson Realm is kind of crazy. Okay, now check this one out, right? After he defeats it, I'm going to I'm gonna blow it up for the stream. I'm gonna screen cap it okay. and make it larger as well for the stream. Yeah, that's fun. Ah! You missed pausing it. I did. Okay, here we go. Right there. Yep, right there. So, I'm just gonna right screen cap this and blow this up on stream. But here are the drops that they're getting from that. Uh, firstly, that nine star armor that we already saw, right? Uh, but Much. that's not new news. We already knew that they said that nine star armors could drop here. But you'll also see that they have th th three new affixes over here. Foundia, no, uh, uh, no yeah. found Foundia, I believe we already have inside of the game. I yeah, believe okay. that's one we already, already got, but the, the other three are completely new, and they're called Trial. So there's Spiro Trial, which I assume is kind of like a speed speed trip, which gives additional double P. Ward Wardro Trial, which oh, I assume is like an armor resistant. Yeah, and Waro, which is also which is like damage resistance. The other one is like yeah. you know a fix like like status resistant what, yeah i wonder what they're gonna grant i i'm wondering well, how much the, the ward, potential you're getting from it yeah the ward is gonna be like the resistance that one i feel like will be defense i feel like that one will be the most valuable especially with the kavaris region because we've already been seeing a lot of people struggling with getting like especially inside of um lc we've seen a lot of people struggling specifically with like the confusion you know, mm -hmm. and in addition, the damage resistance like that, that uh, status resistance also applies to that one boss inside of LC that knocks your health all the way down to a fourth. It imp it impacts that. So that may not affect you if you get your well, resistance. Technically, that's high not a boss ability. That's just like. It is a boss ability. It's a boss ability inside of LCs. Oh, yeah. So it's like that what could... I mean is it's, what I mean is it's like it's not an inherent possibility. It's just something I get. No, that's very true. I get that, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, this is this is a crazy... This is a crazy, like, small little way to tease at it, you know? It's gonna be interesting regardless. I will definitely be very, very excited to see, like, how that actually plays out and what the percentages are on, on that. So it also looks like PSE Encore will occur on the very next PSE Burst. Completing a side mission nice. or the next PSE guarantees either PSEF or PSE Encore. Okay, so now you can get an Encore or a guaranteed PSEF burst. Mm. Okay, let's see the scratch coming on the 21st. Yes. Uh, yes. Very Definitely. yes. Very, very yes. Yes! 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 Oh my gosh. Even that is nice. The exoskeletons, I love, dude. I love. Th this is a cast scratch. See, they knew what this, we want. They always know what we look want. At that. Eh. That, I like that. Okay, well, if you like it, but I, I love color, that. Though. I love these, bro. <laughs> these hairs are also pretty nice too. Yeah. See, they always, whenever they come out with cast pieces, it's almost always a hit, you know. 
Yeah. Okay, new nails. I do like those new nails. Uh. Ooh, I like that little eye bit. Okay, those eyes on the top right were pretty cool. Battle scars, all right. Portograph, and I wonder if we're also gonna get build items. Oh God, remember, we were talking about this exact thing, what was it, a couple weeks ago. Fucking Senzai I Warrior. Think. Yep, and watch this. Oh my God, Ginyu Squad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Idol signature duels, yes. Idol I kick. I like that one. Yeah, that one's pretty cute. I'm a train, choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Oh I know. my god! Oh Okay, a glide god. kick. Okay. Kiki XE reward. is kind of mid. Once again, kind of mid, but well, I those guess. Those are the reward ones. Yeah, I guess it's good for a guaranteed scratch, you know? Okay, they're getting us a new limited time quest too. Flat 2 cleanup. Uh, I am not doing this one. Ah, uh, the transport truck. Well, it doesn't feel like there's a reason to do it, to be honest, especially since there's no seasonal points. Yeah. It doesn't feel like there's a real reason to. Like, I'm I'm sure that they'll just give it higher drop rates for the new 9 armor. Yeah. Probably, so it's one of those things where if at that point, if you don't already have a 9-star armor and a 10-star weapon, go after. yeah, that's kind of what that is. But I'm definitely Stop. not going to be God. doing that. Yep, not, not for me. Sorry. Hey, no nope. thank you. <laughs> I, I Bring back the tired. Yeti! Bring back the Yeti! Bring back the Yeti, hero! That limited quest was so good! With some slots. <laughs> Melee on that guy was a pain in the ass. Yeah, it was. Dude. So that is is Dragon base. That base one at the very bottom left. That little, that little backpack. Mm -hmm. I recognized it immediately. I was like, that's the Vol Dragon from base, dude. Lake Interception Part 2. It's cute, though. When you take on Dark Falls Aegis, up to eight players can join this version of the quest. And we wonder if the trio will. They'll finally say it's, they'll finally say it's clearable, dude. Jeez. <laughs> It's here for a limited time. Oh, oh man. I don't. I still don't. I, I don't. I don't see myself running it, honestly, since I'm still doing four man. I'll probably just keep doing four man and just keep getting my reflexes up. Because four man isn't all that hard. It's really just learning the timing. It's not like there's anything in there that's a hard. It's getting your timing and then making sure the people that you're with can at least do the damage. Yep. And with, they don't, honestly. They don't, they don't have to be god tier either. Well, my whole thing is we're going to get a level increase to 85. PSO. And yeah. that boss is only level 80, even with it being yep. Maleficent. So it's still going to be like an easy clear, especially since 10 stars are going to drop like candy. So don't miss this yep. chance to snap them up. So it's kind of like, why, why bother that, running that the UQ? You. Exactly. And uh, not I mean, only, not, only, not only could you possibly clear it faster, but Trinia, Dyna Assault. You know, you're, you're getting your gems too. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Wait. He's I wonder if they're gonna... No, they're still going to give us star gem clears for that, I'm sure, because they did that with Solus, remember? We still got star gems from Solus clear even after... Remember when we went up to 80? Yeah. We still got star gems for a while until they came out with a new four-man, and then they changed it. Okay. Starting after scheduled maintenance on February 14th. Yeah, so it looks like the login bonuses are going to be the stickers and the build parts. Yep. Everything else is going to be going in through the... Uh, the scratch it looks like and you're no thank you on it <sighs> i'm so happy that sega has opted to work with vtubers and i hope that sega has a very long and storied history uh future specifically with new vtubers that are on the market that specifically stream on tiktok like the purple sharpie an amazing vtuber that streams exclusively to tiktok to an amazing audience can we get a round of applause chat can we get a round of applause yeah <laughs> yeah. You know, great stuff. For the morning. Great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> so excited for future yeah. collaborations with Sega. Oh man. It will have combat voice Your live chat is not actually updating on my screen. Is it not? No one's typing no. anything. This scratch ticket is also packed with other collab items. No one's typed anything for a while. Chat, are you there? Wow. Yeah, chat's there. I'm assuming that everyone's just kind of like, eh, meh. Okay. Holograms and build parts depicting life size. Okay, <laughs> yeah. The see, people are just watching. 
A new rank will be added to the See? central. Con some people are at work. Some people are just watching. Mm, that's fine. Mm, mm, mm. Huh? Enemy level. They just he just said it. They're up, they're also increasing the rank in Lost Central too. Yeah, but they're doing this on the twenty first. That's what I said before. They showed that already. No, I'm I'm happy they're doing it, but it just means that I'm probably not going to be farming Kavaras for the first two weeks, and if I am, I'm only going to be inside of probably the canyon or the valley area i do not i do not like belgium runes i hate that area even with them adding the little boosts it's still going to be very annoying for me you know what happens if they add waffles because you said it was the belgian runes i hate this sectors that transform into the crimson realm along with menace i do not like i do not like having to be on one of those little like i know it's annoying even with even with i have to really see how those like super speed up areas are really going to speed it up because what i would really like is i would like a teleporter that didn't make it so the whole reason why everybody likes like red al and lost central and the Vanguard ruins is because it's significantly smaller. It's easier to control bursts. You know, yep. no one goes into Rizal Forest and is like, "Oh man, I'm super duper excited to farm inside of here today." You'll need to join. No one does that. It's like the Amanda's. Yeah, Jesse, this is actually Fantasy Star Online too. I'm sorry, I forgot to update the game. Let me fix that now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There is a chance that a changeover will occur, which will then develop into an additional trial. Completing the side mission for the trial from the changeover and the next PSE burst that activates guarantees either a PSE burst forte or PSA burst encore. Don't miss this chance to score tons of rewards. That auto message reply scared you. <laughs> it's fine. It's just it's just my it's just my stream bot. All right, try typing exclamation mark game now. Type exclamation mark game and it should work for you. I'm sorry about that. I, I just updated the game name, so it should work now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks for coming to stream, though. The ARC's records held during this time are for the Trania slope style, for solo, and all classes. Use your floating board skills and shred this challenge. Not the shred. Is the new AC scratch ticket. This scratch looks good. This scratch yes. looks very good. This scratch is probably worth all of my money that I just put into so the see, game. Sega, the money you would have gotten for the virtual library one is going towards the one after it because, you know. <laughs> they they know, dude. They know. They're aware. Like the glide and idle variations of grapple is currently disabled at this time. Yo, dude, we're doing a reaction. Cleanup op 2024 will come sweeping in on February 28th. I kind of wish they would stop giving us these defend transport truck ones. God. Because it's Please. like it's it's just frustrating. I think the only thing that's frustrating about it is that there's no way to like reheal the truck or re-repair the truck or put a no, barrier around not, the truck. Which is stupid. Yeah, because it's like at least on mining base you can do it. Are we getting a new LTQ? Yeah, that's what this is. This new LTQ is going to be active in in about what three weeks? End of end of February it looks like on the 28th is when this comes in. It's a hey, sharpie. We've literally just discussed that one meme. And reward. What do you think would make this LTQ even better? More monsters, more players. Having repair kits for the the truck. <laughs> we just no, literally I did think, a meme. I think what everybody really, really wants, honestly, is trading for premier premium players. Give us trading, <laughs> Sega. Check. Give us trading. That's all we want. I will literally never complain about an LTQ ever again if you give us trading. Bullshit. I promise. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we're gonna need hunters and hunters with Warcry, and we're gonna need forces to grab aggro. Because the whole thing is, if you hit them, you get aggro, you know. So they're coming out with a bunch of revival scratches too. I'm okay. curious to see what they're going to have because collection. February eh. it's always interesting to see what they throw into the pot. It's uh, something feel, you like you miss. I still feel like the thing that they do is they just look at market prices and they're like, what's the most expensive? What's not on the market? And then they remake it and they're like, haha, if you haven't sold it yet, you're screwed. <laughs> that concludes the update information for today. Is that it? Uh, no, it's still going. Next segment. Okay, another segment. Okay. Hot. Information. NGS. Operations yes. report.
Yes, I chose repeat for my, uh, for this my caricature. Segment, the NGS Operation Report. I, Hero Arai, select questions and comments from players to- Give us trading, Hero! Announce trading! bring you their answers. Here is the first one. Let's see what we got. I'm having trouble with the ability buff of the boss enemies in Lucille Exploration, which inflicts status ailments on players. Remember how I was talking about this? Introduce augments that yeah. nullify status yeah. ailments? The little animations or captions are really cool. Thank you, Jazir. Thanks, Jazir. Currently, there are Jazir? No plans to hold on, hold on. That nullify status ailments. However, in most cases, if an enemy in Lucille Exploration has an ability buff to inflict status ailments, players can acquire an ability buff for reducing status ailment duration. Oh! By raising I want to slap these developers for that one. ...nearly nullify the effects. So that is what we recommend. Oh! That really was not clear at all through the buffs, by the way. That's why we weren't, uh, that's why I always thought they weren't worth going through. Hey, what's up, Dark Cherry? Welcome to stream. Okay, so basically what he's saying is the exact thing I was just talking about, the status durations and the stuff. damage resist. Instead of building them, you're supposed to go for them inside of the rooms to get them, and they can basically negate them if you get them high enough with the sacrifice mm -hmm. of damage, basically. So basically all the damage resist ones will... Nullify this basically at like level yeah. five type of deal. It'll it'll lower it to the point where it's more manageable. But here's the thing. Yeah. Number one, there's already augments out there that increase resistances to those things. Yes. Get good. Two, in other PSOs, when we actually had units instead of augments, we had things that offered actual nullification and resist higher resistances to where it didn't even affect us. Very true. Um, I'm also and seeing inside in those of the games we in those in those older games we had instant death sometimes. <laughs> there was no blocking that. <laughs> I want to add. Guys, I see inside of the chat, Zenki asked, "Did they show the new armor stats? They did. They showed that there's going to be new nine star armors, and they're basically implying that they're going to be dropping from the new regions this, inside Kavaris. You have to build them, is what they implied." But as for the stats on them, like what we have for current armors, no, they haven't shown those yet. Yeah, that's that's so they haven't know, like shown what, what max the, is going to be. We don't know what the potencies or the defense and all that's going to be. Yet. Well, we kind of know what the potency is going to be because they did show off one of the armors at base. They showed it like the defense and oh, you know what? They didn't show the second tab with the potential, though. I mean, exactly. with, the po with the potency, not the potential. Um, yeah. I'm interested. They said the new weapon potential for the new 10 star weapons is going to be something that increases the damage that you do with your PAs or your photon abilities mm -hmm. um, yeah, at the cost of increasing the amount of double P that it costs, which is going yeah. to be a really interesting change because that's going to kind of change the meta to make it so that you need to have double P consumption, like resist, you know, those those little fixes on your armor, that's going to make that mm -hmm. very, very valuable if you have that weapon series, it feels like. Yeah. I mean... But yeah, no, be, I think I it's, think, it's, I think that that's not as obvious as they think it is. Like, the damage resistance really just makes it seem like, okay, are you tired of basically getting one shot with no health? You know, then we have to go for damage resistance. They didn't make it seem like the status resistance actually changed anything, especially since they have the status infliction at like 100% on these bosses, you know? Yeah. they It doesn't make it seem like it does anything. And I've gotten it up to three, level three and stuff before, you know? And you probably need sub force for that potential it. to be comfy. I agree. I agree, honestly, Zenki. I think that force is going to become a lot more, a uh, very, very viable a very very viable like meta subclass outside of just um outside of just pse farming rooms now especially with the addition of this new 10 star because currently as it stands a uh, basically after maintenance we'll only have two 10 stars in the entire game and that's flugel guard which as everybody knows the, p the potential or the po the potential for that basically is just like a it's kind of like a weird shift to D band thing that basically gives mm -hmm. you additional damage after you do your photon burst to anybody in a certain area. There, it increases what what did you say like your 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 potential for a small amount of time? It's, yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's like not even a five percent increase. 
No, it's 5% increase. It's exactly 5% at max, yeah. But it's, it's to me, it's silly because one, they don't tell you how much you actually get off the boost. They just call it a buff. So we had to do math afterwards to figure out how much that buff gave at the highest level of potential because it the potential level scales. Like, it's not like you just get that flat. It's like that scales based off how high it is. So you get a higher buff at a level three potential than you do at a level one potential, which is like weird right so it's like let's just say at like level one let's just say you're only getting a one percent increase and then at level six you get a five percent increase to your potency which to be honest is barely anything like that's super duper not even worth honestly even if it's even if it's a full room boost but it also only stacks a certain number of times right you can't stack it indefinitely so if there are three people inside a flugel guard uh, inside of a room with flugel guards is the exact same as if there was eight people inside of that room with all with flugel guards. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't stack yeah. eight times. If it's if it could stack indefinitely, that would be one Good thing. God. That would be one thing. That would make it super duper meta for MPAs. But as it stands right now, that's really it feels like a support weapon. It feels like a dedicated MPA weapon. And I feel like the only reason people are buying it right now isn't because it's necessarily good. It's just because it's the only 10 star we have. This new 10 yep. star already sounds massively better than the Flugel Guard in general. Yep. It just, it sounds better in every way, shape, or form. I, just, I really do also want to see the stats on the new armor, just because we'll be able to actually see if we'll get more potency with that, and if it's worth to go ahead and upgrade. Because I know a lot of people right now with 9 stars that have already invested a lot of money into it, and I feel yeah. like, well, firstly, this 9 star, it looks like it's going to be something that you have to synth and build, or possibly drop. It doesn't look like it's something that's sellable on the market like the other nine stars are. So oh, the thing, the thing about it is, is um, the the weapon series is not going to be tradable. Okay, that makes sense. I don't disagree with that honestly. I'm I'm not I'm not as mad about untradable like nine star armors, especially newer <clears throat> ones, because I feel like we already have tradable nine star armors on the market, right? So it's not yeah. as big a deal. And they've also been giving us a chance, like, literally now for the past, like, what, three and a half months to go ahead and, like, synth up some new nine star from Octos our, ourselves. <clears throat> so it's not it's not as big a deal as I think. But I'm still kind of I'm still kind of just disappointed that they're now clarifying, by the way, if we want to change the status effects, you have to build for this specific thing inside of LC. None of that is none of that none of that is automatically known or or super duper intuitive when you go through Lucille exploration. And I think that's your frustration and my frustration as well is that now we have to hear it on an operations report literally like half a year after LC has been out. And I want to just add, yeah. the only reason I'm really frustrated about this is because the developers literally came on last headline or last month saying by the way uh, Lucille Exploration, we're sorry about it. Remember, like, literally, what was it, two months ago now? Not not last month, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm misremembering the region announcement, but the, the month before that, back in, like, what was it, October or in September, they were like, this is the game that we meant to come out with. We're updating Lucille to make it better. We're sorry. Remember? They didn't no. even, they, they should have gone over what all the different buffs with, but they don't have that anywhere. They don't have it on the website. It's not super intuitive when you log into that area. Even the little like info thing in there doesn't tell you what it actually does. And it I don't know if that's a translation or a localization. Collide. Exactly. I don't know if that's a translation or localization error, but it's confusing and it's wrong even for veteran players like me and you. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> we shouldn't have to hear this for the very first time inside of a headliner. And then here's the other thing, because we discussed it uh Oh, it was a couple of days ago. It's like, just give Techers anti back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Honestly, hmm. because that why does a lot of people confusion? Because my real question <laughs> is ultimately, why does over why does over emphasis not provide anti? Why does it not do that? I don't know. If they don't want to make it a skill like shift the D band, why not put it on over emphasis? A tegger only combined. skill that is a main class skill that completely restores people's HP and double P, and it would also go ahead and get rid of any status effects. That gives you more chances to use it, and it also increases the desirability of tegger and the importance of tegger because as it stands right now, 
Tekker is a useless class, and I hate to say it because I love Tekker. You know that. Same. So it's like really, really hard to justify it because even the shift Sharpie. to deep. Okay, I'm sorry. Sharpie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna narrow it down to one thing. Give us trading. It makes sense. Sega won't do it. Let's that's not. That's not <laughs> true. That's not true. I don't want to say that. <laughs> I don't want to say that because it's very obvious to me that Sega cares at a certain level. What frustrates they don't me. Don't care about techers, apparently. Uh, well, I will say <laughs> that it really does feel that way. If if they truly do, if they truly do care about making techers viable inside of the current late game meta then they need to address changes specifically to the support effects that techers can provide right now, because right now techers do not have anything that make them justifiable in the end game as it stands right now. If there are it's absolutely really, no really, changes, then literally it is done. It's over. If Sega really loved this game, they would give, you know, trading to premium and me the ability to throw people. <laughs> All right, that's all Rishi wants is the ability to throw people and all I want is I want to throw yeah. smaller people that's, that's all I want, to, I want to use them as projectile weapons yeah it seems like many players abandon quests what are the live ops and development teams considering a way to address this issue oh my gosh here's the I want to say I abandon quests because it takes too long for the end scenes including instances of quest abandonment is accessible to developers and periodic investigations are conducted using this data if the number of this? abandoned quests or reports is excessively high penalties this is good and bad yeah they're talking about they're talking about griefing players right now okay well, i mean so they're not you, they're not the... talking about they're not talking about us people that like abandon at the end of the quest to get back in for low iteration times no I'm not, I'm not referring to that yeah i'm talking about the times that we've just noped out because the yeah. group doesn't do anything isn't capable of doing yeah i so i that's the problem with us. sega the problem with sega they said that they said that they don't mind doing it a couple times i think it becomes an issue when you're consistently doing it which is what he's saying now he's saying okay. we we already monitor this and people that do it excessively ha do have penalties i don't think we do it anywhere near excessively excessively yeah. would be like i would say if we went into five different quests every single time we started UQ and we left that quest four times each time we did a UQ. Okay. That would be, I, I'm pretty sure, excessive. But we don't do that anywhere near as much and we stick around the entire time. I think the reason they're frustrated is because it's like, firstly, you already run into an issue where we have a guardrail over UQs right now, which is battle power, as you know, right? The issue that they had, they had this exact issue inside of base and by the very first thing they did to address it when they had higher issues inside of the game, right? But it's it, what's interesting to me is that we're now, the, the more interesting thing to me before I finish what I was saying before, what's more interesting to me is the fact that this question is now coming out now that we have super duper end game four man quests, then people are frustrated by people abandoning quests. Now that we have four man MPAs inside of here, that's super end game. Now people are frustrated with abandoning quests. You know, that's that's when we get why. this conversation. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's people. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm not trying to be super elitist, but there there is a problem inside of this game where we have a weekly that is considered optional end game high level content that new people inside of this game are trying to do because their battle power is one BP underneath when they get all their free items at level, what is it, like level 65, I think? Something like that. Yeah, because how many people have we trained on this stream that have all said, oh, I need, I've done all of my weeklies except for this one, I'm not able to do it because people keep leaving. And it's like, yeah, you shouldn't be clearing that because you don't have the damage to do it with your automatic weapons. It's not possible right now, you know? Yeah. We have to explain that to them because it's not intuitive or obvious inside of the game because they don't understand how the damage works. It's not their fault that they don't know that. The developers gave them something that's literally one battle power underneath, and that is not strong enough to kill Maleficent Dark Falls. Like, that's not enough. But, but that's not intuitive. Those, yeah, those free weapons have a negative 5% to critical. Yeah. So they they're are, not they are, that full potential at anything. At which all. Sucks. Which when you level, when you scale that with other things, like, yeah, people are going to leave a room like that. 
people are going to gear check like that because ultimately, if you're sitting inside of a room for seven and a half minutes, getting it down to just a fraction of your health with 30 seconds left is super tilting because how many times has that happened to us? And we are geared. Yeah, it happened with Solas. Exactly, cooking. Exactly. Yep. Like, and that's that's why I say this is so interesting because I know exactly the content that they're talking about this with. I know exactly the content. They're not talking about UQs. They're talking about four-man content. They're talking about people that have to pub four-man content. And the reality is you should not be overwhelmingly pubbing that content right now. No. It's, At that, all. That is not... That, uh, <sighs> Like we pub one it's, person it's, in the content and regardless of how geared that person is, we stay or we leave. We yeah. leave if they leave, we stay if they stay and we do it. Yeah. But you should not be going into a four man, a four man MPA by yourself with nobody else inside of a party. You should have a minimum of one other person with you or you should have two people with you when you do that. And I always go into there with two people. I never go into it there with any less than two people when I do that MPA. If I have to solo that, I will find three other people on my friends list and run it with them. I will not solo pub that because solo pubbing that is asking for people to abandon. And it's not like, oh, I'm not going to ask the developers to fix that because ultimately that's a gear issue. The issue is they're giving free gear out that's making everyone think that they can do this. And so regular people pub that changing out one affix to pub it and they can't clear it because their gear is not good enough. So it's like, it's frustrating. That's the real issue, the real, the way that, and to answer my original point, the way that they addressed this inside of base was they had what was called heaven or hell, which was a specific quest that you could do inside of base. It was a, um, it was one of those, I, I think like, uh, what's it called? Advantage quest or something, AQs that you could do. Yeah. And, Basically, you d cleared that, and if you cleared it at a certain time period, it was like basically a boss rush, but after you cleared it, you got a title, and if you had that title, it allowed you to do, uh, it allowed you to do expert mode, which would put you along other people who had also cleared that. So it was more of like a damage checker, right? And I feel like the mm -hmm. big issue that inside of this game right now is the only damage checker they have inside of this game, even though they have DPS trackers now, inside like handheld inside of this game they still don't have any way to specifically train people outside of the training on cocoons you know so it's like the only limiter they have on people right now is battle power and battle power is not a real limiter battle power is a gear check it is not a real knowledge limiter it's not a knowledge base it's not a damage check it's not any of that I can't tell you how many people have talked to me and been like oh yeah what's your battle power sharpie and i was like it doesn't matter what my battle power is Battle, my battle power changes based off my character and my class. None of that matters. What matters is the DPS I'm putting out. And I know the average DPS I'm putting out. And it's very visible on the screen. My DPS is more important than my current battle power. I can have lower battle power than you and do more DPS. Like, that's, that's the more important thing. And I'm, once again, I'm not trying to be elitist. But if this, it really does seem like this specific question is specifically about, as Sega has called it themselves, high-end endgame content. Haven't they said that? They call it ultra-high endgame content, like dual quests, ultra-high endgame solo content. That, that's dual quests. The four mans are ultra-high MPA content that you can do with your friends. When they describe it on these videos, they even say, by the way, this is not for everybody. And then they come out with an easier version of the UQ. I think the big problem is people are doing the UQ thinking that the four man's exactly the same, and it's not. It's harder. But that's my, that's my, that's my feelings on it. How do you feel about it, Rishi? <laughs> Get good. Get good. Exactly. Abandonment. <laughs> no, it's or idling, using profanities or forcing your own rules on others. <laughs> that was what they had to say. Let's move on to the next question. Give us trading. Many ability-related LC capsules drop. Are you considering adjusting the drop rate of other LC capsules? Yes, please. Here is their answer. Probably. Probably yes. We plan to increase opportunities to obtain LC capsules by having them drop in limited time quests in the future. 
Additionally, the drop rate for such cases will be adjusted based on the in-game situation. That was what they had to say. That's all for our Q&A today. It's pretty short Q&A, no trading. Moving forward, long story short, no trading. And bring your questions and feedback to the development and operations teams and share their answers with you. Please share your thoughts and opinions about this program and the game using the hashtag NGS headline on X and other sites. We would like to take this opportunity during the NGS Operation Report section to share with you a message from our development team. Now, allow me to read this letter from the developers to you. We would like to thank all ARCs for continuing to enjoy NGS. Moving forward, we will provide information on the intended implementation of updates introduced in the broadcast and our plans for future improvements in the form of a letter from the developers. In this issue, we would like to provide additional information about the new 10-star Rayar weapon series. The Rayar series are new 10-star weapons that can be obtained through the item exchange by collecting the necessary materials. That means these weapons are easier to obtain compared to the other 10-star weapon series, Flugelguard. However, they cannot be sold in the personal shop. The reason behind this policy is to make it easy for more people to experience the highest tier of weapons, the 10 stars. It's like Guild Wars 2. Yeah. Gives everyone the ability to have in-game if they put in the work for it. ...during battles and while traveling around the Rayord Gorge, the starting point for the Kavaris region update. Breaking all the new red item containers in the Kavaris region will provide about half of the required materials, so going through all of the exploration sectors will make it easier to obtain. I'm getting another set of knuckles. <laughs> Apart from the item exchange, the Rayar series can also be obtained as drops in the Kavaris region and other upcoming content. While they cannot be sold in personal shops, they have a high drop rate for 10-star weapons, so be sure to collect the Rayar series. Okay. So, better than Flugel. We would like to discuss the design intent of the Crimson Realm. Which yeah, let's hear about this. On February 21st. This is the new, this is the new event that they're adding, right? The addition of Minin and Skylifters in Elio and Halvaldi Vera in Retum all made distinct changes to our adventures. Hmm. In contrast, the new Crimson Realm in Kavaris is designed to change the combat sectors as a whole. It is structured to occur for a limited time, like the Rappi spots implemented at the end of the year. Okay. To give it an event like feel. That's pretty cool. I wonder how long it's going to be active for. That's like my big question is like, how long, how long do we keep this effect for, you know? The Crimson Realm occurs and changes daily. Next, we would like Wait, to did this room go red or am I having a stroke? No, the room definitely. <laughs> the room definitely okay. is going red. That's the whole thing. It's called the Crimson Room. I know, but still, that's the joke. For the future dual quest release. Did this room actually change color or am I having a stroke? <laughs> we received many comments requesting that not only reduce the frequency of releases, but also consider changing the specifications. Of dual quest? Based on player feedback. We plan to change the specifications starting with Phase 4, scheduled for release in March. Okay, so dual, dual quests... So they are confirming that dual quests are not coming out this month, but they're going to be coming out in March. And it sounds like yeah. it probably won't be coming out until around mid-March or end of March, based off what he just said. Which, yeah. is, which is probably why we didn't get any hints of dual quests inside of here. I'm sure I'm sure that they were planning on announcing a dual quest for this 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 area but it looks like it looks like so the uh, remember the roadmap from last headliner 
I was yeah, assuming that looking at right now. <laughs> yeah, I was assuming that dual quest that the dual quest we were going to be getting was going to be this month. So I was kind of excited, mm. but it looks like they're like we're, they're asking for they're asking for more time between dual quests, which okay. But look, but look at look in April and May right here on this picture. You see how it even says ultra high difficulty stay any parting. I'm gonna be for real. I think y'all play this a tiny bit much. Yeah, SC, you got me. I'm an addict. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm we, not an we, addict. We, I'm an enthusiast. Special effects. Yeah, there you go. If you have general purpose, high performance equipment, it should be enough to complete the quest. Mm. We would also like to make it a policy. Poor Tim. He's two levels away from 80 and oh, wait, it's about wait, wait. to go He's to 85. Saying... <laughs> <laughs> they're saying they're saying something else. Wait, wait, wait. First, even if the quest does not come with augments that have special effects, if you have general purpose, high performance equipment, it should be enough to complete the quest. Uh, we would also like to make it a policy to make augment capsules with special effects easier to get. Okay. And to make them secondary to dual quest completion. More details will be provided in the next broadcast. Uh, Zenki, Kavari, Kavaris Creation Space is active immediately after maintenance tonight. So tomorrow yes. morning, as soon as maintenance is over, you will have access to the Kavaris Creation Space as long as you have enough Genesis points to purchase it. Which is probably going to be 40,000 again. Yep. That's all for the letter from the developers. Thank you for playing NGS. I feel like I missed something. And to make them secondary to the dual quest completion. Get good. More details will be provided in the next Brought the Quest. Locations starting with Phase 4, scheduled for release in March. First, even if the quest does not come with augments that have special effects, if you have general purpose, high performance equipment, it should be enough to complete the quest. We would also like to make it a policy to make augment capsules with special effects easier to get. Okay. And to make them secondary to dual quest completion. Okay. More details will be provided. So they're changing the type of augments that you'll need to complete them. They're saying that you should be able to run them with just your standard. That's BS. I don't like that. But okay. That means anybody can now go into it without having to have all those augments. Then. Well, I mean that's fine. I don't mind. Yes, it's not going to be okay. It's going to be harder for me to get exclusive farms. Yeah, on the market, it's going to lower the price. Now yeah. Let's move on from updates and talk about some other NGS-related info. Give us trading. We'll get you even more hype to play the game. Build to throw people. Let's start with this. We'll be starting a campaign in February. Once a month, special login gifts will begin on February 1st. Oh, so every month you can get material storage for 15 days and you get five and login color change passes a month. During February to get material storage use. And yet, for some reason, people will run out of those five within the first day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will also have the chance to get these items by logging in once a month. For those who don't know, yes, I'm talking about Sharpie. Oh my God! To the game. I still have a bunch. I still have a bunch from base, honestly, that I'm still going through. We're I still got PSO two day for enough. <laughs> okay, I I want to talk about this. No, because I actually want to talk about this. PSO two day gets an upgrade in February. Also, starting on two twenty two. 2024. I just want to say, how long did they say PSO 2 day was on the 21st? How long did they say that, Rishi? How long did they say that PSO 2 day was actually on the 1st and the 21st of every single month? I am not, I am not here for this. You pick one. You pick one. Pick one. I'm tired of this propaganda. I can't, I can't keep up with it anymore, bro. You got me for two days a month you got me for two days a month sega two days a month two days. Uh, oh i got tears oh Bro, I got te pick, pick what those two days are <laughs> i'm tired of this <laughs> this, this would be one of those anime moments where the bigger character would literally walk over to the small one, take them up by the shoulders, and just sit them down and say, just be quiet. I am so tired of this. <laughs> I would so do that with Trisha and Sharpie. I would do that. 
It's like Sharpie. Just sit here. Bro. Pre-announced urgent. Here. They here. keep doing here's, it to us. There's cake. There's cake and your teddy bear. They yeah, keep doing it to us, Bridget. They can't keep getting away with this. Each urgent quest twice every time it occurs. Oh God. Oh. This tears. Oh, they're real. Easier to oh. collect the exchange materials for the ten-star rarity Rayar weapon series. So be sure to jump in and grab some swag. Not swag. Dude. We've got great deals on yeah, AC. Yeah, they said swag. AC sale. They said swag. God. Cash super sale early spring. Suddenly we're pirates. February <laughs> seventh. Okay, uh, twenty dollars worth of AC for ten dollars. Can make purchases to get the bonus nice. once in each. And if you purchase like a twenty dollar AC pack from Steam, you actually get basically ten dollars worth of AC as well. So it yeah. when you buy a twenty dollar pack, you're actually getting thirty dollar value. To see what's on. Nice. It's not a bad deal. Once, yeah, it's only once. So have a limited time. Hey, I mean it's worth. It's a twelve pull. Count off the normal price. You think about it. Thousand AC and ten thousand AC. And it looks like the. AC, the AC sale that was going on for December is still active right now. Please note on Steam exclusive. <clears throat> and I want to, and I want to stress again, even though they're covering it here, they're covering it here in the smaller print. But just so you guys know, the PlayStation AC amount that you get is different from the Steam amount that you get. So if you have, if you play on PlayStation and you purchase AC via Steam or the Microsoft Store or the Epic Game Store, it will not apply to your PlayStation account. Only the AC that you buy on PlayStation Next will impact it. The results of the Creative Space contest. Oh, look at that! Okay, uh, yep. uh, Rishi, Rishi, you see that yeah, US see ship too? Yep. Yeah, I'm happy for them. That's a good space, honestly. It is. That that's they the space where we got the. Well. They they worked really really hard on that space. I'm glad that they won. They deserve it. Yep. It looks like there was only three. Uh, it looks like there's only three global winners though. Yeah. Or maybe even only two. I think those bottom two are the only global. I think everybody else is on JP side. Pretty much. I haven't gone over to Adventure Island. Have you gone over there? Uh, no. I'm kind of surprised. I, well, actually, I take that back. I may have, but I don't remember. Me either. But I remember. I remember the Kotai region. I remember that. <clears throat> I'm I'm kind of surprised that we didn't see any of the recreations of the original PSO on here at all, or even. Oh, yeah, you know, know what? Actually, that Japanese version of Shibuya. I think that's the original creation of it. That JP one right there, I think that's the original creation. I think that the person that did it on Global copied it from them. Ah. Uh, Creative Space Contest. <laughs> Might be up there one day. Possible. And dev teams have looked over the entries. Oh, my breath, but that'd be interesting. You'd have, to, you'd have to put a lot of, you'd have to put a lot of, like, Full of levers and, and, and buttons and stuff inside of there to really like they have a whole they have a whole like hide and seek thing in there you know architectural structure yeah. some created an entire town with a collective theme and some offered fun mini games for visitors yeah the number of winning entries was limited as they will be showcased worldwide and on all ships as official creative spaces. Oh, wow. However, congratulations to that dude. Outstanding entries beyond the winners. If you are interested, please explore the contest entries using the contest hashtag creative space contest on X to see some fantastic man they gotta stop making us post on Twitter bro to update creative space. <laughs> they gotta stop making us post on Twitter creativity even more freely <laughs> find it funny they want you to post on Twitter but not TikTok. bro right streaming an NGS video to commemorate our collab with Niji Sanji here is the stream schedule the four virtual livers, Amamiya Kokoro, Nagao K, Matsukai Mao, and Yorumi Rena, will visit official creative spaces, including the contest winners I previously shared. Okay, that's a pretty cool stream idea. Maybe we do something like that one day, where we just go over creative spaces and we check them out. Where you can watch the video. That's all for this episode of NGS Headline. Okay. Not a bad episode. Please share your thoughts. No, we're not done yet. On this program. That's what it says. Using the he said that's all. Oh. Is it? On X. That's what he just said. <laughs> Together we can okay, fine. NGS an even more fantastic game. Hmm?
As a representative of the users, I will continue to work with the development team to make NGS a more enjoyable game for everyone, and I look forward to your continued support. The next episode. When is the open world city releasing? February 27th. What? They said that that's coming out in June. Oh, that one. Yeah. It's coming for the ro for the roadmap, which it doesn't look like they changed the roadmap at all, by the way. So that's pretty good. Thanks, hero. Now then, Arts, I'll see you at the next NGS headline. Thanks for watching here on Tuesday night. I'll see you on next NGS headline. Bye bye. Bye, hero! <laughs> okay. Pretty good episode, honestly. Pretty good. Like, um, you know, I was ex I was expecting a little bit more coming from, uh, coming, uh, coming on the new region, honestly. But I think in general, that was a pretty good headliner. I think we got a lot of information about stuff we didn't have before, but let's go ahead and talk about it because they covered a lot of stuff. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of stuff. Let me go ahead and get this camera right here. Rishi, I know we only got you for a little bit longer, so I'll try to make it fast because we already talked a lot, but <laughs> go ahead and turn on this music here. Okay, Rishi, so let's talk. Uh -huh. All right. So the the thoughts the thoughts from that headliner that was not your first time seeing that headliner. You had already seen it previously. You know, uh, we had we had that headliner already uh, kind of showcased. Talk talk to me. Talk to me about your thoughts. Anything? No mm. thoughts. Give me a starting point to go with. Okay, let's let's first start. Let's first start with some of the things that we saw um, at the start of that because we didn't really talk about it. One of the very first things that we saw at the start of that headliner was what's going to be implemented inside of the game starting tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, I believe that's January thirty first. Inside of the game, after maintenance, we're going to be getting quite a few things. First of which, we're getting Kavaris updates, and we're getting a new. Uh, rank area inside of the Kavaris region. Specifically, we're getting a new kind of like, it feels like effect area inside of Kavaris regions mm. called Crimson with a bunch of brand new affixes. And I'll go ahead and pull up those affixes on screen really quickly again for our viewers. But uh, we talked about it very briefly, you know, they're giving us the nine star and 10 star uh, armor series. So we're getting 9-star armor series, we're getting 10-star 10 10 star weapons, the Rhea weapons, I believe is what they're called. Um, and we also saw that there's some brand new affixes they're adding into the game. We talked very briefly about it, but I want your thoughts on this new Crimson thing, because they're saying that they're going to be custom trials and custom monsters that are only going to be available during the during the Crimson, Crimson events, you know, that kind of like spawn inside of these Kavaris regions. What are your thoughts on that? I think they're a great. I thought, honestly, they're a good addition because it ups the ante on things. Like, it's, you're you're doing all this normal combat, and suddenly that goes on. It's like, okay, let's get serious. They kind of don't have the, anything like that inside of the game right now either. No, they don't. Outside of like um, rappy spots, I mean, you know. Well, the thing is, is you could you could literally take it like it's a mini UQ. Yep because of the bosses and all that such. And from what he was saying, uh, the rewards for that is dependent upon how much damage you do to that boss at the end of it. So um, like it showed in the video, Ash didn't defeat that uh, that boss, but he damaged it enough to get those drops. Yeah. So it'll, so it'll be nice to that's see. That's actually pretty nice. Something that kind of just rewards you for doing your best, you know? Um, <laughs> my only thing is, I know the closest thing that I have to go off of it, I'm not going to talk about Rappy Spots, but I'm actually going to talk about the weather system inside of the game that they have right now. The weather system is very difficult to play around, you know? Like, there's no guaranteed weather affront. You kind of just have to sit inside of the room until it happens, you know? Uh, to either gather something like Blizzardium or Infernium, or even, like, inside of Sia when we were getting the, the little, like, crabs and mushrooms and stuff. Specifically, the yeah. crabs were impossible because of, you know, the ash rain coming out, yeah. you know? 
uh, but now they changed it so they changed it yeah but my thought process is is there going to be anything to let us know outside of just by the way the screen turned red to know when the very next crimson the very next crimson thing is going to happen you know i think i, I, th I thought they said or mentioned that there was going to be like an alert or something that's going to tell you where it's going to spawn at i hope so i really do hope so because if not i'll be incredibly sad truthfully um but yeah i think Plan. that's i think that's i think that's a good starting point for everything and i am excited to see kavaris i'm kind of disappointed that lost central isn't going to be updated to rank five for another two weeks because that means that i have to I have to farm inside of the ruins, which I hate. Oh, no, you said you could farm down in the gorge. Remember? Yeah, well, they did up the update to the gorge I love, by the way. I absolutely love those updates. I'm very happy that they added them. Those look great. Um, we're going to move on to the very next point, which is I don't really want to talk about the VTuber scratch because I think we both talked about our feelings already on that. But I do want to briefly <laughs> talk about the scratch after that the one that they had that wasn't mid, the good one with the cast parts and the dragon parts. Yeah, the uh, Basilisk. Yeah, Basilisk one that's coming out late February. Thoughts? <laughs> Can't wait for it. Yeah, dude, I'm ready to drop. I'm ready to drop a couple hundred on that, honestly. I'm really happy that I, cause I, I, sp I spent some money to get everything from the Seven Deadly Sins scratch, honestly. Um, and now I have almost everything. I'm still missing a couple of items, but I have almost everything from it. And honestly, I'm really happy with how the Seven Deadly Sins scratch went out. Um, the VTuber scratch, we're not gonna really talk about that once again, but the Basilisk scratch looks very, very good. I'm excited for that. I think that's the one to wait and watch for. Um, and they also announced that they're doing a couple of like, you know, you get a bunch of boosts that week to spend AC as well. So it, it looks like it's gonna hit at a really, really good time, honestly. So that's awesome. Um, and then finally, uh, the last thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the Kavaris creative space that they're adding inside of the inside of the game tomorrow. Uh, yep. We we got a sneak peek at the new. Firstly, one of the things that they've always added inside of this game, outside of just like new regions inside of the creative space, is they've also done AC packs for building materials. And this time we're getting mining base. Have any creative thoughts or any creative ideas kind of flooded your mind with the addition of those mining base uh, well, building I mean, parts? Well, uh, they said that it was like 14 pieces total. Mm. So, I mean, it's they're, they're including a blueprint so you can actually build it to that blueprint as best you can. But uh, it, it's going to be interesting to see if the parts can be used elsewhere. Yeah. Like, from places that's what i'm looking at I, i'm not looking at oh i'm gonna build a mining rig screw that it would be it would be kind of cool especially because they're talking about making a new region that's kind of just a city especially if that ends up becoming like a you know a build region to see like how that mining base will work with it to be honest with you but my thing is can i build an intercontinental ballistic cannon oh it? my god and can I shoot somebody out of oh, it? Oh my god. That is what I desire oh with it. Oh my god, Rishi, please. Well, okay, <laughs> I, I guess here's my final thing on the build space and then we'll go ahead and get into gameplay. But um, how did you feel about the actual stage of the Kavaris region for the creative space? Because this was one of the very oh. first stages we've seen with like a lot of water. And I mean, a lot of water flowing through it at all levels. It like. The fact that you actually get to make a running river is what I've been asking for ever since the beginning. But um, mm -hmm. if you didn't pick up on it, uh, there's one improvement that I'm gonna be in love with is that you can now you will i don't know if it's this update or if it's a little bit later on i can't remember when they said it but we're going to have the ability to literally make gradual sloping yeah finally that looks instead really of like good. you know kind of sharp and all that but now gradual and that's going to make landscaping that much better looking they also gave us updated um positioning tools for items yep which is huge yep. That's absolutely huge. Like, I don't think we got as much freedom because they still had the grid positioning on. So it was still very like one, one type of thing. But so it now was... we can actually get the, the right heights and everything. Now yep. I don't have, now it's going to be easier to actually position stuff instead of like trying to eyeball it and start over and they redo it. They had actual every, sliders for positioning times. now, which is, I think, huge. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> very excited for that. 
You, um, you've been there when I've had to do those things. Yup, and you need me to stand somewhere and then share my screen so you can see how close it is or how far it is and stuff. It's obnoxious. Yep. So this yes, is gonna is. add this is gonna add a, a whole new layer on some of the creativity that Creative Spaces can go out. The thing I noticed at the end of the broadcast is that they're really going in on Creative Spaces. Like the entire integration that they're doing with the VTubers on the stream that they announced at the end, they're like, we're just gonna have them going over the official spaces, the official Creative yeah. Spaces, because I think that's the big sell for people inside of the game right now, you know? It's not necessarily the content, it's like, okay, I can build my own house, how creative can my house be for free, you know? Yeah. And I think that's kind of kind of where they're going with it. But, you know, I don't dislike that at all. Like, I really like our alliance space. We worked really, really hard on it, you know, but I do wish mm -hmm. I do wish that the star gem requirement of how much these items cost was a little bit more affordable in general, because oh, God, it's still yeah. it still cost a lot of star gems. And even like scrimping and saving, it's very, 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 very hard to get everything out of the star gem shop and still have money left over for like anything else if you're trying to buy out the creative space yeah yeah so uh with that, that i mean i barely i barely cleared mine out like a week or so ago yeah mine and now is, they're bringing mine is more done, stuff into it like, and geez. they're putting more stuff in literally tomorrow my i just i just finished mine as soon as we got the uh as soon that's, as we got that's the real reason why they uh ran uh stella graces <laughs> Stellar Grace, reason. Stellar Grace is a fantastic opportunity. I I kind of wish they did more Stellar Grace opportunities, but I also get it why they don't. It's like Star Gems and AC is a really big pool monetarily wise for them. Clearly, yeah. so it's like giving it to us for free too often. You know they got to keep it special. But anyway, uh, that kind of concludes our NGS headliner reaction stream for the point. Um, I think we'll go into gameplay, and I know Rishi. It's probably around time for you to call it for the day. Um, Almost. Yeah, but I do want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, we're going to be going live on my PSO2 main account in a little bit. So if you're not already inside of my Discord, I highly recommend joining it because that is where we're going to be streaming uh, for more PSO2 stuff. I exclusively stream on TikTok. That TikTok account, by the way, is Sharpie PSO2. Um, that's S H A R P I E P S O, and then the number two on TikTok. We will be live there in a couple of hours, just farming out the rest of our seasonal points tonight, leveling and uh, making sure we get all the seven deadly stuff, seven, seven deadly sin stuff. As a reminder, everybody, maintenance is early today. Um, we are actively- Three hours, isn't it? Yeah, it's three hours early. So we are actively um, going to be making sure that everything on the, everything in terms of my weeklies and dailies will be done before 6 p.m. Eastern tonight. <laughs> But um, I want to make sure that other people also know that because maintenance is starting early today, you do need to hurry up and finish all of your weeklies in addition to your dailies as soon as you can, because it will be it will be closing up a little bit sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, uh, everybody, thank you so much for coming out to stream. Richie, do you have any final thoughts? Not a damn thing right now. Not a <laughs> single thing. Well, I want to thank all of our viewers and listeners on this stream. Uh, we will be uploading the entirety of the reaction over to our YouTube, <laughs> or specifically my YouTube. It'll be available on pso2.sharpypls.com, which is my YouTube channel uh, that resolves over to my YouTube channel. And I do want to go ahead and thank our top five viewers this stream. In fifth place, we have Cooking Like Larry. In fourth place, for fourth top viewer, we have Julian Elliott. And third place, we actually have an Alliance member, someone I haven't seen on these streams in a while. It's gonna be FlowFox522. Thanks for coming through, Flo. Uh, in second place, <laughs> we actually have Zenki316. And in first place, I actually see a new viewer here. Uh, we have someone by the name of Still Bleeding For Her. Never seen this person before. Oh. Yeah, I've okay. literally never seen this person before. But thank you so much oh, for well, coming out to the stream uh, and sitting Try here and chilling. Die. Appreciate you. Uh, yeah, as always, you guys, Play games you love. And um, yeah, just remember, if you're not having fun playing video games, it's literally not worth it. Make sure you guys are having fun whenever you want. All right. Uh, thanks so much for coming out to stream. I'll see you guys later today. Bye. One more once. Y'all didn't block that shit. You just fall back quick when I call back in. Got a couple fast hits. I've been looking mad rips like a savage with a bad fit. Call action. Let's go. I'm trying to bring all my people on the next flow. Y'all been pressing buttons, so no, you didn't tech those.
death row Bugging on the neck code Kicking it in Jersey but standing still on the west coast Back on my hype I'm just playing all the stuff that I like I ain't really come to ask for advice I just came to get that 3 2 one fight Let's go live The queen is back You have to ask me nicely This stream was made possible thanks to TikTok subscribers, followers, and viewers like you. Thank you. Yes,